Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are on the Citadel server hanging out in Minecraft 1.21 and you'll notice that this is not West Hill. We are in the spawn chunks here on the server. This little ring right here is actually the spawn area and then we've got this path that leads all the way down to Dartmouth Meadows which is the starting town that we all started uh, our builds in way way back uh, seven years ago. But along the way, we've got a couple of farms, and these are in the redstone spawn chunks. And so this moss farm, when it's turned on, and this iron farm, which is what I'm looking at right now, are always running. And uh, they are, well, this one is fine. This one is broken. This one is not working. And we were fixing this on Wednesday, which was our first day in 1.21. And uh, if you were hanging out in the stream on Friday, on the Lego stream, then you know that we had some downtime on the server. I was actually planning on streaming a little bit extra yesterday from the Citadel, but uh, our, her, our uh, hosting provider, Shockbyte, had some bugs happen when they were migrating uh, our server to a new control panel. And I, uh, I remember being frustrated with that. I think I was airing those frustrations a little bit on stream. I want to let everyone know that I have since heard from Shockbyte. We have obviously fixed the issue, or they have fixed the issue. I had nothing to do with it. Uh, and I have uh, Ruben and Mitch to thank. They both reached out, and uh, I'll be following up with them if there's any other issues. I'm going to follow up with them. Um, Mitch Miss actually reached out and asked if there was any feedback that I had on the process of the migration, and uh, I thought that was a really excellent opportunity to, to chat with them. So I'll do that, and um, I'll report back, let you guys know what was going on. Let me just see if I can sleep through the rain. No, I can't, of course. Well, trying to show this off in the rain is not gonna be nearly as fun. Uh, but but again, I just wanna give a, a thank you and shout out to Shockbite for following up so quickly. Uh, we did not miss any scheduled streams. The, the bonus stream yesterday, I couldn't end up doing, uh, but today is my regular stream day and stream time and the Citadel was back up and running uh, by then. So I'm quite happy about that. Uh, this is the new level for the iron farm. I did a little bit of work in between Wednesday and now. Basically, there was a bunch of math I needed to double check, and I just wasn't quite sure uh, if doing that live on stream was what I wanted to do. So I went through and I changed a bunch of stuff up there. And uh, what we'll do is we'll probably use the free cam to check it out. I just need to go get somewhere where I'm not going to be besieged by stuff. I guess there's not much we can do about the rain during the day. So, uh, I will hit the free cam. At least we don't hear the rain up here. Now, these boxes might not show up, um, but... Yeah, they're a little bit hard to see in the rain. Um, so, I've adjusted the, a couple of boxes. Uh, the first box on the outside, this refers to the scanning radius of the villagers when they're looking for, is there an iron golem uh, available in these spaces uh, and if there is then do not spawn a new one and so we might take off the cap of this mountain but the thing is this is actually outside of the spawning area so it might be the safest thing to do to take this out but right now the spawning area is actually an adjusted box this was originally a 10 by 10 and it's not a 10 by 10 uh, I realized that the 10 by 10 by 10 measurement is actually villagers that are looking for other villagers that have recently spawned a golem. Uh, and that's just always going to be the case because our villagers, the three of them stand next to each other right there. So they're always going to be within a certain amount of space. Uh, this little box inside, this little box inside refers to the uh, spawning area that a golem will spawn in. And that is seven blocks in each horizontal direction from the villagers so i didn't base this on the center blocks of the farm here it's actually from these three blocks that the villagers stand on and they run around back and forth so we've got starting with the glass pane we've got one to seven going out to there we've got one to seven going out to there and then going out this way and then this is the edge here that little t-shape and then vertically it's not ten it's six so you can see it's a little bit more of a squat box. And again, it's not in the middle of the farm. It's centered around the villagers. And what this is, is the box that the golems will spawn in. And as you can see, 
we've got our little catchment area. This is what I built at the end of the last stream, and that needs to come up higher. So you can see I just I kind of made a little dirt patch there. We need to move that up higher uh, because we need the golems to spawn at the bottom of that zone. Uh, it still doesn't change the design of the farm. It doesn't change the size of the farm. It's all happening within the box. There's a chance we might want to do this a little bit higher because if we want to encase this and hide this nonsense with a design like we have done down there, then it might be better to have this a little bit closer. So I think what I might do is I might wireframe the design a little bit up here, and then we can figure out where vertically we need to happen. This spawning platform can happen anywhere in this space. It doesn't really matter. Um, we just can't have it too close to the zombie uh, because then the golems are going to go after the zombie. So... Ideally, I think the bottom is best, but we can go up or down a block or two, depending. Does that make sense, everybody? If you have any questions in chat, let me know. I do have the wiki article open for Iron Golem spawning. Cosmic Dancer used 100 bits, sending you some cosmic love and good luck for getting the iron farm sorted. Thanks very much for the bits, Cosmic. I really appreciate it. Chippy Gaming, thanks very much for the follow. Welcome in. Kingy93, welcome in. Grandpa Crafter, good to see you. Obviously, Blast Jordan is here. And I saw the real pickle as well. Good morning, welcome in. Glad everybody could make it. So first things first, we'll move that spawning platform up. Uh, do I have enough dirt? I do not. Dirt seems to be the... Oh, well, I guess we're using grass. Dirt was the thing we had the most of, but we don't seem to have a lot of it now. I'm going to turn these boxes off um, quickly because in the rain they render very, very poorly. But essentially, this is the new floor. And we will eventually make this nicer, but because I've had to move this a number of times, I thought making it out of uh, decent blocks uh, to remove, easy blocks to remove, would be a smart, smart thing to do. So that's six blocks down from that block there. So it's one, and then two, three, four, five, six. Actually, because I had shaders on, maybe that's what was making them render a little bit funny. Oh, that's a little bit easier to see. Yeah, so you can see this is where we want to put the platform, right? Once we get the platform in place, we will move the villagers and the zombie and give this a test. We also have to get rid of the golems, and I have to figure out a good way to do that without angering them. Okay, so now I need... Do I need... Carpets. Do I have those? Oh, I had them in my inventory. Crap. Should have checked. Yeah, we've got two golems down here, and there's a third around the corner. Sup, Joel, here from the Spawn Chunks. Finally get a chance to see what West Hill looks like, but hearing you describe it for, for a long time. Well, <laughs> I'm not in West Hill today. I'm, we're in the Spawn Chunks um, of the server fixing the iron farm. <laughs> um... Yeah, I can't remember the last time we were... There's VODs. <laughs> There's VODs on YouTube for it. So this is going to be spawn-proof. So nothing can spawn on here. I guess I should probably use a ladder instead of that. I need fence gates here. And then water. Uh, 
Oh, thank goodness we can sleep and get rid of the rain. I'm going to make a water source here briefly. That all should lead to the middle. And yeah, I should have brought a ladder, I guess. So I have to get rid of all of this uh, measuring blocks, these measuring blocks, because they are things that can uh, spawn. So we're going to get rid of all these. Uh, I'll leave that for now because I'm going to need to walk on it. Don't need that. Don't need that. And this is all measured and centered, so we will just rid of that of course too far away Okay, so we need to put a block over the top of that when we move the guy. Uh, we are currently on a 0.5, so these are not spawnable. So that is not something that the golems can spawn on. Glass is not spawnable. That's not spawnable. Everything has got something on top of it. So we should be good there. And then, of course, we will get rid of that. Because that's just going to be like a hovering zombie thing and ultimately i think i might want to get rid of it uh i'm i'm the plan was to move the zombie straight up so i will have to like get these buckets back and cut a hole in there uh so i think for for now what i'm going to do is create a nice big um platform i've got to double check the measurements on the other zombie the one that's actually still in the space so he's got so that's obviously a block that could be spawnable, so we have to put something on top of it. But I have to figure out how many blocks that is high above. So that is one, two. So it's one below the roof. Three above the edge, one below the roof. Not that we have an edge up here to begin with, but it's fine. Uh, no, this is not Light Matica. This is Mini HUD. Uh, Mini HUD is a cool little mod that lets you render uh, different shapes. So I've got an iron golem spawning. Uh, actually, that's not 10 by 10 by 10. Let me rename that to be more accurate. It's 17, 17 by. Is it 19? No, 12, 13. Let me just check the wiki on that. Actually, let, let me bring this up so that you all can see it too. Uh, Chrome. So I'm looking at this right here, 17 by 17 by 13. The, that's the um, valid spawn point. Up to 10 attempts are made to spawn a golem within a 17 by 13 by 17 box centered on the villager, a villager block position, plus eight blocks uh, 
on the x z axis and then plus minus six blocks on the y axis so it doesn't include the the blocks that it, uh, the villager is standing on so that's why uh i went with something a little bit larger because of the the design of our farm did i just change that yeah i did just change that back to this And then the 16 by 16 by 16 is the big box on the outside. That's the big, that's the outside one. Mind trip media with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. Uh, you can put yourself in the empty cauldron and look at your coordinates to see how high your feet are. Oh no, that's fine. I just needed to get uh, this height, which I think is right. So it should be one, two, three. Yeah, I think that's right. And if that's right, then that should be a block that we can actually have something spawn on, which we will want to fix. Also, scaffolding is now a non-spawnable block. It's considered transparent. So this is, yeah, that's 111. So we'll put a carpet on top of that. I will use scaffolding here, but it doesn't reach. Guess I can probably get rid of this. So I could make that a little bit larger. That doesn't... That doesn't feel like it's very far, but of course the zombie doesn't go all the way to the bottom. The zombie sort of sits about there. So that should be good. Uh, I think the hard part is going to be getting the villagers up here. That's going to be the real tedious part. We're going to have to use mine carts, I think. Um, but first, I'm going to get rid of all of this. Oop, I'm going to miss my scaffolding entirely. I have to get rid of all the other platforms. So we'll use, yeah, get the, get this out of here. What I need to do is make a temporary killing chamber for the golems as well. Because I'm not sending them all the way down. Well, I guess I could just drop them into the current chamber, couldn't I? And then the fun part, then we're going to be able to work on the, the design of this, this area. I'm really looking forward to making it look a little bit more modern and fun. The, uh, the design of the farms in the, in the meadows are very kind of like modern looking, but with Minecraft, um, I'm not sure what you want to call it, like log and water technology, but then there's a lot of glass and a lot of like lighting and stuff. So it's been it's been fun to revisit that design aesthetic. So like it's very mechanical looking but there's a lot of logs and plants and glowing bits in it too, right? Uh right, so we can't drop them until we get rid of that platform. And that's fine. Okay, so we'll get rid of this too. No longer have to be out here. That's all good. So it's just this little bit here, which I could replace with scaffolding. So if I put scaffolding here, then I can get rid of this stuff, I think. Oh, that's not good. That's not what I wanted to do. That's good.
For villager movement, build a stairway out of dirt and grass and use a workstation to have them move themselves. That's probably less control than I want. If I can swing it, I'm going to try to move the zombie at night. Um, the idea was put out there that I could give him a, a pumpkin for a head, but I'm not sure. And if anybody in chat knows, I don't know if I would give the zombie a pumpkin if he will still scare the villagers. I imagine he would. Fell behind on spawn chunks uh, a little, and now I'm listening to the episode with Tadpole Milk. Oh, very cool. Um, and I get not liking early game. But couldn't you always back up the world? I don't know. And I play Bedrock, which is why I love listening to the Sponge Chunks, because I get my Bedrock news from you guys. Well, that's cool. I'm glad that we can help out the Bedrock players, even though we don't actually um, play Bedrock ourselves. Um, what do you mean back up the world in terms of um, starting over? I mean, if I really wanted to have the starting over experience, I can just teleport myself 100,000 blocks away with nothing and just start over, right? I, could just, I just don't like the gameplay. It's got less to do with me. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. I, I don't want to reset the server because I like everything that's on the server. It's a lot of work and um, I plan to keep it, but I also dislike early game Minecraft. So, so yeah, it's twofold. There's, it's kind of two reasons. Um, Tadpole Milk and I were, were on the same page on that, I think. Okay, so villagers have got to move. We've got to prep the top part for villager movement and I feel like the thing to do is going to be to just... I feel like minecarts are going to be the easiest thing. I could put them in that way. That might be the easiest thing to do. Because we can put rails on glass. So once they're in here, they're stuck, like they can't get out. Um, provided I can... There might be some fence gates that I could use. Maybe I could put temporary fence gates here. I feel like we have to, we have to put slabs in here anyway. It's either that or I drop them in from above, but I think this is probably going to be the easiest way to do it, because then I can close the gates I think eventually uh, that or maybe dropping oh crap I didn't want to do that the first bed placed has a there's a reason you have to place them in the order Yeah, I'm missing... I don't have the slab thing in here. I think I will drop them in from the top. They shouldn't take any damage, I don't think, coming off of landing on beds, right? I think that's a big enough hole. And I need to see where this little strip goes. Even with the barrels. Okay. So that will keep them in. We just have to drop them in the top. So now I'm just going to use grass blocks to get them up there. And I guess we'll go to there. And I guess we'll have to do a little bit of this. Whoops. Uh, 
that's not going to be far enough back. So they should go in there if I put a rail there to eject them, right? Yes. And that's not far enough either. Probably easier to go up than it is to go down, so we should do that from down below. Is that farm a nod to the old days when you needed doors? Oh, no, this this farm is that old. This farm was designed in 1.12. Yeah, it's not a nod. That, that, that's how it used to function. <laughs> that's, that's why it's broken um, and why the design needs updating. Um, Alistair did a retrofit on it, <clears throat> but uh, because of the location of the farm, changing the way that it functioned wasn't enough. Uh, so we ended up with golems spawning on these er areas that Alistair tried to spawn proof. So we've got a couple straight golems having around. Um, they weren't spawning in here anymore. So that's why I'm moving the whole thing up. Uh, it'll look cooler, but also uh, it's necessity out of the way that it functions. I don't like working with villagers either, real pickle. It is not my favorite thing in Minecraft. So we should be able to just come at you guys from the side. And let's go, I guess, out this way. Yeah, much easier to do it from the bottom up. Am I going to clear my scaffolding? I am. I think we're going to end up turning around and coming back the other way. That is not quite where I need it. That's fine. We were estimating before. Might as well just go straight over here. Um, let's back this up. That is a full block. Yes. should do I think that's gonna work uh, this will not though crap I always forget about the corners on minecarts uh, I guess we'll just go out an extra block here I also messed up well at least I can walk alongside of it So now I need rails. The question is, do I have to go all the way back to West Hill to get my full rail box or do I have enough in my redstone box? That's the real question. I should. Between the two of these, that should be fine. 
I also need a, is it activator rail? Yeah. Salty Sandworm, welcome in. Can I see the Nightbot messages? Yes. Oh, the Nightbot thing from yesterday. Thank you. Uh, timers. Where is the mock one? This one? Yep. Uh, disable. I guess currently is just the wrong, the wrong phrasing for that. So we should have this and then I guess something to activate it actually let's do golden rails oh that doesn't travel past that okay well we'll do it this way Should probably turn these off for now. Oh, I've got lots. Justin Toons, hello, welcome in. Again with the rain. Very rainy in Minecraft. All right, so we'll be able to hook this up and hopefully get a minecart in there and grab them. Uh, I'm going to have to do... I don't know exactly how many of these powered rails I'm going to need. If I give them a boost there, that should get them probably halfway up. So, better safe than sorry. That should get them up to here. And that's not going to work. Crap. That should get them all the way up here, but I'm going to change one of these just in case. And then we'll make this higher. So when they get ejected, they will probably go in there, ideally. I really don't want to lose any villagers. That's the main, the main concern here. All right. 
Perfect. Iron. A couple of minecarts. I need to get my inventory sorted here too. I don't need any of that. I think we're good with the wool. Put the wood back. We'll finish the design later. I'll keep the glass. Keep the slabs. Actually, I'm going to get more slabs. Let's make more slabs. Keep the barrel. Keep a couple of extra blocks. Fence gates. Don't think I need the frog lights right now. Should be good. And I maybe need a lever. I got solid blocks. Should be good. Yeah, it rains a lot. I, I was watching a Tango video just uh, on my lunch break today, and um, he was commenting that it rains a lot in 1.21 on the Hermitcraft server. I think it's just been raining ever since 1.18. I find that that's when a lot of my my stuff has been rainy. All right, so now I've got to pick one of these guys up in a minecart somehow. Uh, if I remove this, they will still be trapped. I can then put this here. Oh, maybe I can't. Uh, actually, that should be something I can put a lever on. that but that's going to need a block next to it so really what I should do is turn the corner right and have that there and then have a solid block in this space and then that and then I can get rid of this Except for I need that back. <laughs> Are there any mechanics attached to rain or is it just for atmospherics? Uh, Are there slime spawning mechanics attached to rain? I can't remember. All right, so this can go there. So in theory, I should be able to get... It might pick up a villager and... Hopefully the glass won't suffocate them. Gotcha. Awesome. That worked incredibly well. Except for it didn't. <laughs> we, we need a bigger boost. Okay. Um, too much... Maybe that'll get you where we need to go. Zoom, zoom. Please work. Oh, he didn't come back down. That's good. <laughs> uh... No. Oh. So I need to figure out a way. Hmm. So he got ejected, but he didn't go in the hole. Hmm. 
maybe do I have a trap door? Use a water source? That's a good idea. I have a bucket. Give myself a trapdoor as well. And have a fence gate. That could also work. I think they need a block to land on. Oh, that's a good call. That's a good call. So maybe we need like a trapdoor trap sort of deal. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I put a trapdoor there, they're going to they're gonna hit it, I think, when they come in. Unless they're lower. Well, I mean, worst thing that happens is they just bounce back. That's fine. Uh but you think a water source? Okay. We'll try this. And then I'll also do Nope. I knew that was going to happen. At least getting them up there is smooth. I'm not sure why those other villagers didn't have professions before. Oh, I think that worked. Yep. So it was just, I guess, random. All right, let's sleep quickly. Uh, Meadow says crops get watered by rain. You're right, of course, yeah. That makes sense. Tridents says Turing, yep. Using, um, what's it called? Riptide? What were the other ones? Uh, four horsemen, zombies get put out. Yeah, things spawn in the rain. You get more spawning things happening in the rain. This might not be as easy. Yeah. Not as easy without all three of them in there. Um, how? If I punch this, he's going to run away from the zombie, right? That's the problem, is that he needs some place to go. Hmm. <laughs> How do I get you in there? I could punch a hole in the ceiling and drop down. And just give him a nudge. This is the tedious part about villagers. You're not going to help. Nope, you're out. You're not going to walk on that. Actually, if they're running away, maybe 
if I break this block. They'll want to run into the cart. I guess they can't get up on it. Somebody get in the cart. Anybody get in the cart. Your friend did it. Why won't you? I don't really have any other methods other than brute forcing this. So I can get up here, but you can't. Do I have another cart? Maybe the cart was moving, it would be better. Almost had you. Get them in a boat and pull them up there with a the lead? Oh no. Not in a million years. The fall damage for that screw up is not something I want to deal with. I don't know what to do here. Um, hmm. I guess I could start to shrink the area. Oh, I almost had him. Be quick. There we go. Got him. Okay. I'll put that back just in case. You're going to go in there. It's the last thing. No, I don't want to be in here. <laughs> Crap. Okay, uh, so that worked. He can't get out, but I can't get him in there. Just get off. They really don't want to go off the edge, do they? Where's my other trapdoor? Guess I can maybe get him down there with a slab. There we go. Okay. That's two. Maybe the villagers are smarter than they look. Yeah, maybe. They don't sound very smart. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay. Get you in there. I don't think the fact that they've now picked up professions really matters. Eh. 
And once again, we just have to nudge you in. This guy's got less willpower, and that's fine. Welcome to your new home. So the only thing left to do is grab that uh, flower pot, which I think is for breaking line of sight. I didn't bring any with me, so I have to use this one. The less willpower they have, the better I call it stubbornness. Yeah, there's all kinds of jokes you can make about their new forever home. <laughs> You go right there. So they've all got, well, there's only two got professions. I guess that doesn't matter. So the tricky part is going to be moving the zombie. I don't know whether I should put a pumpkin on his head. Does anybody know if I put a pumpkin on his head, if it means he won't be, uh, it won't scare them anymore? What I was going to do was put a piston underneath him and just push him up. I could get rid of that block. He should be covered from sunlight. Like he shouldn't, he shouldn't have any, any sunlight issues. We'll put, um, I've got, well, I've got to cut a hole there for starters. I'll do that now. Man, I don't miss the days of early day Minecraft jumping up one block at a time on stuff. Uh, let's grab those. That and that. And you are right here. So for safety, what I could do is expand this while we move him. Could also take advantage and move him at night. So I'm just going to make a little note here that this is the height we want. But now I have to get rid of a lot of this stuff because this is all going to be spawning platforms. So maybe it's not this night that we move the zombie. Maybe it'll be next time. Workstations are not required in Java, but are in Bedrock. In Java, they just need to be scared. Uh, oh, maybe Alistair. I was copying Alistair's design. Uh, what's the reason for moving the farm higher in the air? Sure, I can show that easily enough. Um, so you can see the old farm here. But if I turn on the boxes, imagine this box here lower right so like it sort of starts to clip into the area here uh, and so the golems were spawning outside of the original spawning trap and then this big box is where the villagers look for more golems and that down here it's it's like the whole area like everything the light touches basically was a scanning zero area and so they would spawn in one golem he would wander around uh, as you can see, there are a few around. And because the villagers from there could still see him, they wouldn't spawn anymore. And so that's why it's up in the air. 
Uh, I also think it's going to look cooler. And um, we can also drop them out of this zone faster. Although we could still do that down here because the farm goes deep underground. But uh, the idea is that you want to get the golems out of this white box, this inner white box, get them out of there as soon as possible. So that's why they spawn at the bottom and then they get sucked down through the, the bottom there. Uh, but what I have to do now is I have to get rid of all of my villager mover blocks. So we have to get rid of all the stuff up here. Turn that off. That villager movement went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to. Um, so I'll work until nighttime here and then I'll take a break. These redstone farms are always so ugly until you get them sorted. So yeah, I don't know why the um, the profession blocks were there, but that's what Alistair had designed. So if there's no harm, I'll just leave them. And of course, these are to keep the villagers from being struck by lightning and turning into witches. Which I think is a bedrock mechanic too. Although, if it's going to rain like this, I might take my break now. That might be a better way to go. Might as well take this stuff out on the way down. Although, hmm. Problem there is that now I've got all these spawning spaces. So no, I really should get rid of a lot of this stuff because I don't want zombies spawning up here. That's fine. That's all got carpet on it, so that's good. It's just this other stuff. Make you look like a mad redstone scientist? <laughs> yeah, totally. I do really like this kind of building. I'm I'm looking forward to getting back into some redstone stuff in 1.21. I'm planning on building a sci-fi area. Complete change of design, complete change of um, vibe from West Hill. Uh, West Hill's almost finished, and I'm looking forward to just creating my very own sort of sci-fi area, but then also treating it like my own personal farming area, where I'm going to have redstone farms just all over the place. Doing... Not huge things, like they don't have to serve the server, they just have to serve me. So we could do all kinds of really fun little projects, especially with the crafter now. It's gonna be great. That's spawn proof. And that's all spawn proof anyway, so I can just leave this where it is and not have to worry about it. I just have to get rid of well, no, I guess I have to get rid of it because we have to have the hole for the golems. Right. Well, we're here. We might as well. Careful not to punch Mr. Zombie. Man, the brown glass is really hard to see. Uh, and thanks, Dan. Appreciate the reminder. 
we're just doing a little maybe a little time sim time sensitive stuff today so just want to make sure that there's just no potential spawning spaces while we're on a short break the good news is I can take a break during the daytime and so there shouldn't be any spawning anyway because my breaks are shorter than 10 minutes so should be good think that's everything. Okay, that's good. Looking forward to building some new farms too, but having to deal with some crashing issues currently. Not sure if 1.21 uh, or the performance mods. There is 1.21.1 coming out. There's a couple of videos on YouTube. If you look up Sliced Lime, uh, he's got um, an update video. We'll be talking about it on Monday on the show, on the podcast. So this is old news. I guess I can just get rid of these blocks. No. Oh. That was close. I don't think a golem's going to hit that. Sorry, right. I'm going to move the zombie before we do anything anyway. I think I'm thinking a little bit too far ahead. The world just keeps freezing. Oh, that's too bad. All right. Well, I'm going to be able to sleep here in just a second, and then we'll take our break during the daytime. And then I'm going to come back and figure out how to move this zombie. Hopefully he doesn't come out of the cauldron. If I wanted to push him up, I guess there's a chance he might pop out of the cauldron. Hmm. Maybe the thing to do is to use a water column and just bubble later him up in, in there. That might be the faster... It's more setup, but in the water he'd be... He wouldn't have any risk of catching on fire. Which is probably a better way to do it. Do I have any name tags? I used to have name tags. We have a recipe to make them. Paper, iron, and string. I might have one in here. I do. Perfect. Okay. One of my favorite things to do is to leave little um, almost toolboxes full of stuff that you need in a, in a farm. Did you put a carpet on the one block or a rail cart? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean on the one block. What one block? Not going to matter for now because I'm going to sleep into the daytime. 
Uh, while it's sunny and there's no chance of anything spawning and causing problems here, I'm going to take my break. If you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to uh, refresh my coffee, refresh my water. You can grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. It's a rainy day here in Nova Scotia. Can't think of a better way to spend the afternoon than hanging out in Twitch. So uh, spread the word. There are posts on Twitter and Instagram in the stories at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
All right. So now, the zombie. I'm wondering if a bubble column is going to be the best way to do this. I could just use the dirt and grass that I have to make a column, push them into it, have the water flow out into a little catchment area, and then just get them into the into the cauldron at the top. Alternatively, I could just use pistons and push him up. What do we think? Pistons? Or do you think there's a chance that he's going to come out of the... I think getting him back into a cauldron is going to be a real pain. That's my, my main thought. The Nookie subscribing at Tier 1. And M Dog subscribing at tier one. Sorry, M Dog, I completely missed that. 36 months for M Dog. Three years. Celebrating three years of supporting the channel. Thank you so much, M Dog. I apologize, I missed that. That was um, before the break. I was probably concentrating on removing a bunch of blocks. Uh, and the Nookie, that's a full year for the Nookie. That's the Space Keystone badge for the Nookie as well. We got some crazy anniversaries on the server today, or on the, the channel today. Thanks ever so much. What a, what a cool thing. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I was moving villagers when you resubbed M Dog. Yes, that would explain why I did not catch it. <laughs> that, that would explain a lot. I, you know, I don't know that I ever get used to being this high in Minecraft. Like, I just, I've got a big monitor. It's 24 inches. I sit pretty close to it. And, like, this is a little unner unnerving. Also, I've got that guy over there, too. All right, let's try a piston. I want, I'm going to push him up once and see see what happens. If it's problematic, then we'll try the other way. All right, first off, junk. Uh, I don't need the rails anymore. Don't need the mine carts anymore. Oh, I need more sustenance. I still have the lever. Can you move cauldrons? They're, you can move those with pistons, yes. I didn't bring a piston, jeez. My inventory was full, I think, when I looked for pistons. Okay. So it's dark. Even if this doesn't work, we should be... I should be able to do this pretty quickly. I hope. Now I just have to get rid of the thing on top of him. He should have sun coverage from above. So we should be good. And nope, he's going to walk out of there. All right, well, I didn't realize that that was keeping him from walking out. Shoot. Now I really do need to put a pumpkin on his head. Uh, bubble column it is. And I've got to trap you. Oh. Come on over here, Scary Steve. Oh. Almost had you. 
Don't fall in the hole, please. Come on. Whoop. Crap. All right, well, I don't need that. Uh, I guess we'll do the trapdoor thing quickly. Really tests your knowledge trying to wrangle mobs around. Okay, so if I do this, you can probably punch me. Oops. I think that's got him. Yep. All right, so he's safe for now. Uh, so now I just, I guess we'll do the bubble column. That's probably the easiest thing. What level is he on? that level. Oh. Okay, so we will try to send him up. This is where we need to send him. Let's send him up on that side. I'll have to change the hole, but that's fine. Oop, don't want that. Yeah, I think he already has a name. What's going on here? And I'm out of grass blocks. Man, I gotta tip my hat to Alistair. It must have taken forever. To actually get a zombie and get the villagers over here, that must have been a real pain. I guess all of this will have to get moved. Uh, probably easier to go this way.
We'll obviously put a, another roof on this. Oops. My method has always been a small spawning pad around the cauldron and then smacking a zombie in there quickly. That's got a call to. Right, so I want to try and leave that there so I can put the thing over his head when he gets there because this is the right level. I don't need all of them, I just need the one. So this, I don't want to drown the zombie. So we might have to move him or something, but that should be everything there sorted. I'll leave a little little window so we can see that he's in. That should be okay. So now I'm just going to make sure that he's in a different spot down here. So I want him to go up that space there. So I'm going to maybe kite him over this way. Yes. Good, good, good. And then put that there for now. No, other, other spot. Ah, oh, not quite. Okay, that should work. Just have to replace this with soul soil, soul sand, and then make a water column. Kelp first, then soul sand. As long as he turn, doesn't turn into a drowned, I, it should be fast enough. It should be fast enough. I will be mad <laughs> if he turns into a drowned. Oh, uh, I don't think I have my kelp box with me, do I? I don't. Nuts. Uh, do I have... I can check the nether, maybe? Maybe I've got enough kelp in the nether. If not, it's not that far to go to Dartmouth Meadows to go get it. Not, not Dartmouth Meadows. If I go to... Uh, he's going to be mad if I open chests. It's annoying. Uh... Six kelp. I got bow meal. It should be enough. I'm pretty sure I brought bone meal. Uh, 
All right, let's double check to make sure that he's not going to get watered. Nope, he is. He's not. I'm going to get rid of that. Put that there. I was going to change his name to indicate that it's now me that has changed it, but I'm not sure what to call him. Okay, so I want the water to go that way. So I need to have water there. And it should come around the corner and stop. That's going to be a mess. Did not do what I thought it was going to do. Oh, I guess the carpet didn't stop it. Let's put a slab there instead. Where did it not flow all the way down? What's going on? Oh, there's a trapdoor there. There we go. And soul soil. No, kelp first. Kelp first. That's not going to harm anything in here. And now I need bone meal. Scary Steve is a good name. Yeah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I think this should work. Almost got there. Oh, that's so close. That might actually be good enough. Although I don't want him to get to drown here either. That is that really all I needed? Well, that's totally enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, that should work. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> right, I guess I'll just go back down. I think that might have been what Alistair was trying to do with Scary Steve. He was probably trying to to poke Steven. Uh, soul sand. Another box. Soul sand. Aldabar, hello, hello. Did I not just pick it up? I am having a brain 
fart kind of day. I did that thing where I separated in the box. Yeah. Weird. Bubbles, yay. Now, he just has to see me. Oh, I guess I should have put this somewhere else. Oh, wait a minute. I've got more. I thought I only had the two. Oh, I don't want to go up. I want him to go up. Here we go. Victory is mine. Don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. Scaffolding has never felt so slow. <laughs> you are right where you need to be. So now I just need to... Oh... Should have been faster with that. That's going to be a pain. Get rid of that for now. So now I guess we just bump him into the cauldron somehow. That's annoying. How do we get him down in there? Oh, it's close. Come on, Steve. If I remove this, will it work? Scary Steve is not so scary. Piston? Yeah, piston might be a good idea. He can see me, but he obviously can't go any farther. I don't mind you punching me. Come on. Yeah, piston might be the way to go. I... Oh, you know what? I have an idea. I've got trapdoors, and if I put a trapdoor and a piston, it might be just enough. I don't remember what block he's on. There he is there. So I want a piston here. And a block on that, and then a trapdoor on that. Can't click there. Yeah, he's still in that space. I 
I could try that. I, that might push him too far. We'll see. We are about to find out. Well, I got him a little farther. I don't want to push it again because that would suffocate him. That's why I wanted the trap door on there. And it's still nighttime, so maybe it's a good opportunity to put um, some headroom there. I guess the trick is to try to think, make him think he can walk this way. This is always the tedious part of this kind of stuff. I don't remember whether the villagers are supposed to have slept in the beds, but at least we can confirm that they have slept in the beds. So I don't want him to be able to actually walk off the edge there. That would be bad. What I want him to do is walk just enough that he falls in. Oh, no. Oh, crap. No, not what I want, and he's dead. Crap. Well, new zombie time, I guess. What was it? Your strategy, Dan, was uh, spawning platform next to the thing? And just see if you can get lucky. That's annoying. I didn't realize he could sneak out there. My bad. Spawning platform next to it, flyway, come back, yeah. Probably would have been a faster way, but it's alright. You learn. This isn't the exciting stuff. I'm really looking forward to actually getting it working and testing the mechanics and all that stuff. So we'll probably use the the trapdoor technique here. So one, two. That goes there. So I want him to fall down in there. So we'll do... Uh, probably this. Maybe this. Whoops. All right. Uh, and then not sure how big of a spawning platform we need, but that should be sufficient, I think. And of course, all of this is now spawnable.
So then all I need to do is land over here. And that have carpet on it? it? Does now. Oh, sorry. Nope. Stop it. Uh, I don't like scaffolding. All right, this is where I need stuff like that. Should be good. And I should probably block this up in case he falls again. So it's almost daytime. I don't know if I want to bother to try and do this right this second. So it might be worth waiting just a tick. Double checking this, make sure everything's not happening. Um, also <laughs> do that because that would have been bad. All right, so if we can get somebody, uh, oh, no, I need the other way, I need there. Uh, should I carpet the center block? Yes, I should, thank you. So that should have him trapped once we get one. And I missed again. Okay. So while we are waiting for nighttime again, I guess the thing now is we can start to dismantle a little bit of of this, uh, I guess I should probably take a couple of screenshots before that. Just so I know what it used to look like, because I want to try to pay a little homage to it. That should be good, I think. Right. So I'm not going to get rid of the... Um, not going to get rid of the water column just yet. Just in case. Should be enough light in here. So the first thing I think I want to try to do is we're going to grab some green concrete and I think to just try to keep it as simple as possible moving forward, I'm just going to extend this vertically. So we've got green glass and green concrete. I should have that stuff here. Don't have a lot of green concrete, but I do have some. And I've got some green glass as well, but I've also got green dye, so we should be good there. M Dog, thanks so much for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. Have a good afternoon. Have a good workout. I've been hitting the gym a lot lately too. So for uh, 
I guess this only has to be the corners, doesn't it? Because the rest is going to be glass. I don't think we're going to have enough, but that's fine. I think I'm going to have to make the pillars of this thicker because I don't think it's going to look like it's going to be very sturdy once we get it up to the height that we want. We got close. We got close. So I might try this. Oh, darn it. I was better off just making more. It's fine. So I just need a little bit more. I'll probably just make more. I don't know if I brought my gravel. Did I bring my gravel? Did not. Hmm. <laughs> we do have universal dying, but I think that only applies to terracotta. We are about to find out. It's a data pack from Vanilla Tweaks. Oh, it does not. Excellent. Lifesaver. Oops, it's the wrong thing. Uh, I can put that back. And I'm just going to do this the old-fashioned way. Usually a little corner is all you need. Gotta get those gains. That's right, Justin Soons. We got a funny feeling we're gonna need more green concrete, so might as well make a stack. Or almost a stack. Spread it all over the lake like pollution. Realizing now that I'm coming up on a break and I should also consider but when I take that. And I think we're just going to get rid of this for now. Oops. Okay. So I'll probably try to get the zombie during the next night cycle. Let's see what this looks like from over here. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. I think we're gonna have to increase the size of these. I think I'm gonna make these three by three and we'll attach them to something else. And then they'll have probably something cool in the middle 
Sort of like what I did at the front here. Oh. Where these have got, these are four by four, I think. Yeah, and then they've got honey blocks in them and lights from below. Actually, those might be five by five. But I think just like one column of log, a column of something cool colored in the middle, and then another column of log. Maybe we'll have glass or something on the outside. Um, I don't know if I want to try lava on the inside. I think I'd rather do shroom lights. Because I'd like to try to make these match. There's a lot of shroom lights over there. Well, how many shroom lights do I have? Eh, not a lot. There may be some collection happening over the next little while. All right, we need to choose a new name for the zombie. Do we go with Scary Steven instead of Scary Steve? I have to have a name tag here. I was going to call the villagers Eeny Meeny Miny and then call the, the zombie Mo, but uh, do I not have an anvil? I guess I don't have an anvil. Name tag is ready. Concrete, glass. I guess I don't need the brown glass right now. Grab some green glass. Do the same thing there. Whoops. Keep the piston, don't need the bone meal. Okay, so now we fly up there. The idea is we just fly away and hope somebody spawns. It's gonna be hard with so many spawnable spaces in the area. There's also light levels up there. There's probably not as many spawning spots as we want. I guess I could just go up in the air on the scaffolding rather than flying around. I forgot there was that light over there. It's at least 30 blocks. I'm at 111. A 
just 30. I don't think that's far enough. If I see anybody else, I'm going to name tag them and see if we can't wrangle them. Oh, there's a zombie. If I can get you down into the water column, then that'll be, that'll be good news. What do we think? Probably a good chance. Or I could just bridge over. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Don't fall down there, you numbskull. Well, so much for that. Zombies are not the smartest. I really don't want the rest of this stream to be me trying to wrangle zombies. I'd like to build something cool. There's one. I could get you to spawn up there. That'd be great, though. Nothing. Uh, yeah, there's probably too many now on the ground. Did anybody spawn in our... I guess I could u turn that into a spawning space. I could just remove the light. That would be pretty dark. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. It's so funny, your, your, your brain is so hardwired to sleep at night in the game. Like I'm constantly telling myself, no, 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 don't just run into the bed and sleep. These guys are going to get torched in a minute here. That's a lot of creepers. So what do we think? Do we wait another night? See if we can't get one to spawn somewhere more convenient. Because right now bringing them up from all the way down to the bottom is going to be a real pain. Alright, let's see if anybody survives. If they're under a tree, they've been chosen. Plus, the golems are going to get anybody nearby. Okay. So let's get some glass, I guess, and we'll build up the rest of that column. Because the last thing I want is the iron golems falling out of here and me not having a way to actually get rid of them. Because without the lava, they're a real pain. More glass required.
Oh, I already had the glass. I need the die. I don't have any more scaffolding. No, I didn't make it. No, oh, boy, today is just not my scaffolding day. Just not. Uh, if you remove the lights, that platform should respawn at the night. Yeah, you're right, it should. Yeah, we've got options. I also have no idea what I just did there. But it was not at all convenient because I have not yet made the glass. For which I need a crafting table. I feel like a stack should be okay. Does anybody know... Uh, I was experimenting in a in a world, um, a creative world. We run um, sodium on the server, and I don't think you can do that glass fog effect with sodium. But I know that I've seen it done on Hermitcraft, and I feel like Hermitcraft is also running sodium. Does Does anybody know how you get the gla the glass fog effect? Is that an Optifine only thing? When you do like layers of glass with air in between. Because I really like that effect, but if I can't do it, it's going to be kind of disappointing. I am definitely going to need more glass. Especially if I do that. I'll just make the whole batch. All right, let's see if I can get the way over there. I guess we'll just have to pick this, pick the water back up again briefly. Probably the easiest thing to do. It's really weird to hear the villagers opening up barrels. You're like, who is here? Like what other player is here? And you realize it's, it's not. Okay, so that's all good. And just, so this is the spawning platform, so it doesn't have to go any higher, unless we change the level of the spawning platform, which may still happen. If I need to make this 
Uh, let's do that. If I need to utilize this in a pinch, I want to make sure it's ready to go. I think I just screwed up. No. Ugh. Now one block higher. If we need to use the column, we can use the column, the water column. We'll also try to get them in there. Hopefully we'll get somebody over here and it'll be pretty easy. Just realized I'm past my break by a mile. Sorry. Right. We'll try one zombie and then I'll take a break. And the reason why I'm not tearing down the, uh, the farm is because if I start tearing stuff away, all of these leaves are currently blocking spawning spaces. So I don't want to get into all of that just yet um, you can sort of see how at that height even just the water column feels a little bit more substantial than just one of these so I think it'll be out here it'll be a little bit wider so it'll have a wider stance and because I think it would be still cool to have that gap between the, the shoot and the supports. I don't think I want to do two by two. I think I'd rather have something inlaid in the middle of it. But we'll experiment. We can we can go back and forth and see what we can come up with. Slowly getting darker. Might take the full 30 seconds to climb to the top of this thing. I've got extra scaffolding now, so I should be able to get a little bit higher. Surely that's far enough. Now we wait. As entertaining as that is. Man, I really don't like being this high. <laughs> Should eat. While I think about it. I can't see the platform below. Creeper. Come on, zombies. I'm not seeing anybody. Just creepers. Is 
Let's see skeletons way down there. Any zombies that spawn on the ground are going to get iron golemed. I might still be too close to that. I probably can't land on this again. No zombies in there. There's a creeper. Darn it. <laughs> that is not what I want. 100% no. see a drowned I'm not even sure if I know how to cure a drowned can you cure a drowned There's a zombie, but he's way, way, way far down. All right, let's try to reset. We'll fly far enough away that everything despawns. So you see the kind of like log flume neon designs that we have in the in the meadows. I want to try and bring that kind of level of lighting and color, but log and stone to uh to the iron farm oh we got one we got one we got one come get me i know you see me Oh, you don't have a way up. Darn it. No. I'm a moron. Sigh. Hope this is entertaining for you. Because <laughs> it's frustrating for me. It should not be this hard. Alright, let's try this Matcast's place looks really cool at night. Nothing. The fact that the zombies just walk right off the edge is really annoying. I heard you coming, Mr. Creeper. Nice try. Laughter and sympathy, <laughs> says Grandpa Crafter. Oh, good. It's a good thing I don't do a weekly news show about this game. You'd think that I would be better at it. Good thing. All right, well, if I can't get one in the next couple of minutes, then I'm going to have to take this break. Oh, that's too bad. Totally would have worked had I had the right staircase set up.
One last ditch effort. I forgot about that little place. Still nothing. Does the zombie, zombie summoning dance? Yeah. It's kind of funny that there aren't more mechanics outside of just random stuff. Like you can you can force creepers and you can force spiders because of the block height, I think. And I can you can spawn proof against spiders with carpet. But you can't really I guess the drown farms and zombie reinforcements are how you get zombies on purpose, right? I just watched Tango put together his copper farm on spawn on um the uh Hermitcraft server. Well he's got armor on. We could try to bring oh that's a skeleton. Thought I saw a zombie with leather armor there a second ago. Well, I think we're out of luck because I don't have, even if I caught one, the sun's coming up. So I'm going to AFK for another break. Uh, we're going to keep on going. I really want to try and see if I can get this farm functional. I want to test it today and I've got the time. So um, hang in there and uh, refresh your drinks, grab your friends. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
All right, back to work. No rest for the wicked. Got a few more minutes until it gets dark again, so hopefully we can sort something out. This is getting a little frustrating. So in the meantime, I guess I could try to get rid of some of these golems. He's almost done. Could have sworn I had a flint and steel somewhere. Oh well. Axinim, hello, hello. How's it going? Well, one of the things we can do while we wait is take a look behind the scenes here and uh, see what we want to do for crafting. Uh, is that? Yes, there is water on top of that there. Aha, there is the back. Oh, nope, not what I wanted to do. So that is where the water's coming in with the stuff. So at some point we have to re-outfit this with a crafter. And we've got a little bit of headroom here because it's just, I think it's just up inside the mountain. Yeah, okay. So we could bring this up just a little bit higher. I think. Yeah. And then add some crafters in here. Right now, I guess one thing we could do would be to craft a lot of these blocks now. To do this, I should probably clear my inventory a little bit. That way we'll know when new stuff comes in. Oh, we got lots of room, yeah. Actually, this storage here is probably going to get a lot smaller. I don't I don't think even as a server we really need much more than two double chests of uh of iron blocks. I guess it really depends on how quickly we feel like the farm is going to fill it up, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. That's just garbage. We can just let that despawn. So we'll probably... Uh, this is just going to be iron on this side because it already gets separating at the bottom. So we'll hook up a crafter because the only thing that's going to come out of this is just ingots. The poppies are on this side. So that side will be more complicated, but that's fine because we've got the room on that side as well. Anybody spawning in? Brassmeister, we're doing okay. We're trying to get a zombie to spawn in up here to capture for this farm, and it is proving to be troublesome. OK, 
keep on having to reset the spawn radius. I guess I should be flying higher to make sure I'm not spawning stuff in. But it has been a tough go. We've had a couple opportunities that I've screwed up just out of pure stupidity. Of course, we can't land because then we're too close. Did anybody spawn in here? No, I don't think that's dark enough. Yeah, skeletons are all over the place. I noticed quite a few skeletons over there. There's a zombie. There's two over there. Not what I want. If I put him in a boat, I could potentially throw him over there quite easily. I should probably do that. Have a boat? I do have a boat. Where are you? Did you despawn? probably walked off the edge oh there he is down there How should I go about doing this? Uh... No. I uh... don't know how to heal these guys either. You feed them zombie flesh to heal them? He's gonna kill himself anyway. It's not even worth it. Well, I guess we'll try to put one of these guys in a boat. I've got four minutes. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. You win the prize. Gotcha. Scary Steven. And now we just need to put something over your head. Although, I need to make sure that the Iron Golem is not going to get him either. Uh, can I just... No. Can't. Okay.
The Iron Golem should hopefully not be able to reach him now. We at least have one. Better not having one. Hopefully that's enough. Citadel 2, the quest for more zombies, right? Yeah. I'm going to try it one more time. I guess I should maybe get another name tag. Might as well just bring out a couple. No luck. No, oh, oh, on the wrong side. So close. Not exactly sure what to do. You know, the most efficient way to get him up there is going to be, I guess, extending the water column. That's just a pain. I'd be more inclined to piston the boat up there. Oh well, we at least have a backup plan. Now I gotta get him up here. Joy. Do they climb scaffolding? I don't think they climb scaffolding. Well, I can't do anything until night now anyway. So now it feels a little bit strange. I gotta figure out what else I'm gonna do. I guess we can start to mess with some of the design down here. I really wanna get rid of this golem. He's making me nervous. Where was he? There was a couple. We should actually be able to get rid of the golems permanently now because the villagers and everybody are way up there. So that should be a good way to get rid of it. So I do have buckets of lava here. I just need the one for now. So I can get rid of this guy. And the other guy is around the corner. If he's still alive. Does not look like it. Hey, glad you got your stuff back, Justin Tunes. That's good. Nothing worse, nothing worse than dying, especially if you're late game, losing a bunch of really nice gear. All right, I'm going to take a quick spin around. I've only got two rockets left. Just to see if there's any golems that I've missed. Just him, but he's not part of the 
part of the crew. Don't see anybody. So I think we might be golem free down on the ground now. Okay, so we can start to get rid of a few things here. Uh, I think I can just start to get rid of all of the wood. So let's clear the inventory of all the stuff I don't need. I'm going to keep the pistons. I'm going to keep the name tags. Don't think I need the redstone blocks. Keep a few of these extra things. Where did all the torches come from? I do have more scaffolding, that's good. And I just need more rockets. Okay. Do I need shears maybe? Oh, there's my flint and steel. I've already taken some screenshots, so we should be able to reproduce this if we want. But I want to try to update it, improve upon it. Sometimes you can roll forward. Nice to have a lot of this wood back. I'm sure we're going to end up using a lot of it. So I guess the water column is probably going to be the fastest way to get Mr. Zombie up there. Maybe I should focus on that side and just clear out the space. Don't know what we're going to do with all these doors. I should see if anybody on the server has got like a project where they're building houses. I think Steven has some houses he's building. He might need some doors. So let's just clear out this corner in preparation for potentially using this water column tonight. Get this done. There's my soul sand. Feels weird destroying something that's been on the server for like seven years. All right, I've got screenshots. Nothing is precious. We can rebuild all the things. I guess I'll just use grass again. Easiest to take down.
Jordan Other, hello, welcome in. Alright, so that's the soul sand right there. So I'm going to put that in that position. Okay, so we want the zombie to track us in here. Like that. And go on to the soul sand. Should be pretty easy. I'm just going to put down... You know what? We can probably get rid of this right now. It's going to be a problem for us later. Uh, I need something to keep the water columns back. So probably don't know if the zombie can get through that space with a trap door there. Uh, we're trying to get a zombie up into the iron farm because I killed the one that was there by accident and it has caused me more, more grief than I care to admit. It's been a long, long process of trying to get this done. So I can probably just put that there for now. I've got no idea whether he can fit through there. So we'll get him over here and at least get him into a closed space. I kind of want to make this just a little bit taller. I'm just always worried about mobs suffocating. Right, Mr. Zombie. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I didn't want him to have a thing, but he does now. F3B. Nope. Come and get me. Nope. Wrong way. Well, he's in there now. And he 
he's already named, right? Yes. <clears throat> Scary Steve with a slab. At least he's got alliteration going on. Thanks, Dan. All right. Uh, I don't want him to drown, so I need to keep him out of there. So I need to quickly put a trapdoor in there, I think. That should catch the water. so excellent oh but he can still get in there All right, don't drown Let's see if I can quickly place another block over this way. Almost. <sighs> Almost. That was me being dumb and creating a high ceiling, I guess. All right. At least he can't get in here. Or can he? Yes, he can. Awesome. Oh, good. Just what I wanted to happen. Come on, man. Nope. Son of a gun. Now the race is on. Where'd you go? Over here. Yeah, this is just peachy. Yeah, crouching and no link it out, you're right. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So now I need to get the water down there. Now we need our kelp again. Uh, 
That should be enough. I am in the middle of something somewhere. I can't see where I'm going at all. I'm not in the water. Turing, thanks very much. Appreciate it. I know it's not the most exciting thing. <laughs> So somewhere, we're missing some bubbles. And I can't see... So here's some downward flowing water that we need to fix. So this is the backup plan. Is it? Yeah, okay, so it's getting light out now. So now I just have to figure out where to get that water in there. I guess I could do the kelp again. Now that it's light, it'll be a little bit easier to see. Oh my gosh, there's a zombie right there. <laughs> oh boy. Where'd you go, buddy? Get in here. I'm over here. I'm over here. Come on down. Can you not jump in? You'll walk off a giant mountain to get to me, but not this. You, sir, are not the brightest. What on earth are you doing? There we go. So he's got the water. And he's got some cover. So hopefully, hopefully we can get this guy in here. So what I can try to do is get him into the water column. At least we've got two. You're right. I agree. So that's that. Uh, I need to go down two blocks. Yeah, that's what he's standing on there. Mm. 
Excellent. Bubbles. And now I just need to make sure that this is going to do what I wanted to do up here. No. Oh. All right, so that comes to there. Bubble column comes up to there. That's the right height. We need to just carve this out like that. And then we've got to figure out how to get him into there once we get him. I guess he'll just try to find me. And run towards me. And then hopefully that will get him into that. Just don't want him to see me here. Sorry, it's so silent. Just trying to concentrate on not screwing this up. All right, so he has a way in there, I think. So if he sees me over here. No, oh, come on. There you are. You see me? But you can't get in here. Oh, that just got rid of the bubbles too, didn't it? Can't see the trapdoor. This feels so disorganized. Why is that? I don't know why it's going to do that. There we go. Come on in here. You can't get in here. This is that trap door. Now you can't get in there because of the water. What if I put the trapdoor there? Don't think that helps. Yeah, that should be fine. Yes, good water. Keep him there. Not seeing me. In, come in. Can you come in? Water must be flowing out somewhere.
Such tight quarters. Now I'm out of blocks. Oh, I see what's going on. Um, got these in the wrong spot. Oh, nope. That's going to keep him there. How can I... Maybe fence gates? Do I have those? I do. Put a roof on him now and come back tomorrow evening. Yeah, you're right. In case something happens, it's not a bad idea. Guess he lost me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, is he in there? He's just not going up? Where'd he go? Did he go up all the way? He's probably gonna turn over and drown. Oh, he's up here. No! He's gonna die. Very close. You get out of that? I think you're stuck. Okay, at least he's here. <laughs> Yay. Whoa. Man. Dislike. So how do we get him into the cauldron? He just kind of walked right over it and did not go into it. Potion of harming heals zombies. That's true. Nudge him. Sure. But. He's constantly fighting me. I don't want to die. How do you just get them inside the cauldron? I don't want to punch him. Push him in with a shield? Do I have a shield? I might. Backup plan. Uh, shield, 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 shield. I do.
He's fighting against me. Yeah, I'm not moving him. Would a downward piston hurt, piston hurt him? Uh, it might pop him out of where we have him. So I want to be careful about that. What I thought about doing before was um, having a piston here. With a trapdoor on the front of it? I don't know whether that pushes him at a full block pace or not. But it might be just enough to nudge him. Oh, that worked. How'd you like that? Okay. So, everybody, mental note. A trapdoor on the edge of a piston will put your zombie in a uh, cauldron. My brain's a little fried here. Okay. This is going to be at this level. It's that level there, which means it's that level there. Excellent. Uh, now we have to remove a lot of this stuff. I don't think he needs three blocks above him, but we're going to put three blocks above him anyway. Imagine a creeper now. Oh, you shush. <laughs> the lot of you. The lot of you just shush. <laughs> Tempting the Minecraft gods. My goodness. So I'm just being careful. I want to remove that trapdoor. But I'm not I don't want him to pop out in any way. Now there's a zombie up there. Now you appear up there. No respect. None. Hey, okay. happy with that. Okay, spawn proof this just in case we need that. This is all spawn proof, that's spawn proof. Now I just need to drop down here and get rid of all of this nonsense. And 
I guess we'll temporarily spawn proof this. What I really should do is go get the other buckets. Alright, I think that's everything spawn proofed around here. We're just not going to know until a golem spawns in this space if it works. Glad I caught that carpet. He's trying to jump out. So he's got no spawning spaces. They've got no spawning spaces. I think I'm just going to get rid of this. Just better safe than sorry. Just that there's nothing. I'm really concerned a golem is going to spawn and kill the zombie. Hey, it works. Good stuff. Okay, I think I'm safe to get rid of the bubble column now. So, I'm trying to remember the easiest way to get rid of this. I guess we just... It's the fastest way. I mean, I guess get rid of the soul sin at the bottom. Applauds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, we still have spare zombie here. It's fair. Oh, it's not all the way down here. It's up there, isn't it? Right. It's a long stream, but I think a good one. Oh, I missed it. So this should be pretty easy to get rid of. I'm not going to get rid of the whole column, just the top portion here. What I need to test is I need to test to make sure that the golem uh, will uh, eventually escape, be evacuated, I guess. is all spawn proof and now I need to get a couple buckets of water I'm very completionist when it comes to my tech projects I kind of want to finish them you know So we can do that and that should keep you in the middle. 
I unfortunately will not be able to use the fence gate right away. Probably can't place this here. No. Okay. There. That's fair. There's water above some of these blocks. Bye, Mr. Gollum. So the fence gates are there because the golems will try to walk away from the edge. So they should start spawning more golems now, sooner rather than later, because that guy should be out of the detection range. Oh, speak of the devil. That's two. I think we have a successful iron farm. Now I just have to turn the, the lights back on down here. I have too many things. So this we can probably leave relatively the same. Yes, I know I only need one uh, bucket of lava, but this looks cooler uh. now i just guess we'll go Make sure there's nothing too important that's going to get destroyed. I don't really care about the extra blocks. Golem. And then we should see items. Items. Good stuff. I'm really looking forward to changing the design on the inside of this. So I'm not sure what the timing is on that, but that's happening fairly regularly. I think what we'll do with our little house there is um, maybe we'll put backup Steve in there. Now, I don't think it matters that I'm standing here. Oh, I guess it does. The zombie is going to... The zombie's going to see me. Okay. I want the zombie to focus on the villagers. Right, where's my stopwatch? I'm 
going to start this as soon as a new guy hits the lava. We'll see how long it takes for the second one to hit. It's only a single cell farm, so... The idea is that it just runs nice and slow in the background. I'm not sure how often. I think it's every 30 seconds. On average. I guess it depends on how quickly the golem is removed from the, uh, the catchment area. I almost got it right on. They check every 10 summoning if less than 30. Yeah. So that's... He just hit the lava at 16 seconds ago. So... We're well at a range. Best it can be is 30 to 40 seconds, I think, depending on when the villagers check. Yeah. Thanks, Scotty. I've lurked in here a lot. I don't think I've ever watched you do technical. That was 35 seconds. So 35. We'll get one more timing just to kind of see. But one every 30 to 40 seconds sounds about right. So that was at 35. We'll see where the next one lands. Small data set. Two. <laughs> or three. At least it works. That's right, Dan. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not too worried about anything else. So that's 35 seconds now. Coming up on 40 seconds. That's 40. That's 50 seconds. Wow. 60 seconds. Okay. We'd have to do a larger test. But I'd say 40 to 60 seconds. I don't remember whether we put those there or not. Set that. I'm going to hit my timer as of right now. I'm going to take a short break and we'll see how many iron ingots hit that chest. So I will be back in five or six minutes.
All right, that has been six minutes and 20 seconds. So about one per minute? That seems low. So I say we let this timer go over a little bit longer while I clean up the area and take down some of the old uh, the old farm, the old farm design, and then we'll come back and see if uh, we get a better better result. Still pretty good, like it's still a very small passive farm. But uh, the other thing is that there could be a golem somewhere because we haven't spawn proofed the whole area yet. So there's that as well. Uh, F3 and B, I don't need those on anymore. So I'm going to park it up here. There seems to be some people in chat that are in the know. So if I turn on the boxes, uh, here is my understanding of how this is going to go. So the gray box on the outside is the range at which the villagers will check for extra golems. But the white box is the only place where those golems can spawn. So because of that, we probably don't need to destroy the part of the mountain that's touching the box, right? I mean, we'll probably end up decorating it and reshaping it, but we don't really need to worry about that because the golems should not be able to spawn there in the first place. They're just only able to spawn in the white box. And because there's no other spaces, as soon as I get rid of these little blocks here, right, because the golems can't go anywhere else. See, he sees, that's why it's slow. Because he sees the zombie. I wonder if I have to drop the area down right so he sees the zombie and he's trying to get him and that's why it's slow if i can remove them from this faster and drop it by one block because they'll spawn anywhere in the white box but that's that's the edge of it you think I have to drop it by a block? Well, that was pretty fast. Yeah, I don't think I can drop it by a block. I do sort of want to see whether they, they all kind of go out of It looks like there's a solid block there with the hologram on. The other designs I've seen have a 3x3 three three hole, but we were stuck with this 2x2. Two two. That's pretty fast. I think if only every every now and again one of these dudes goes after the zombie, then it should be too bad. It is really simple how iron farms are now compared to what they used to be. Could try putting stairs around the hole to encourage them to drop, I guess. I guess in some ways, if they're on that side, if they're on like the left side, then they're gonna see him and wanna go towards him. So that should be okay. All right, I think I'm good to uh, remove the water column here. So I'm gonna go inside there. And how to best do this? I guess I should start from the bottom up. Oh, 
Well, that's not it. Oh, that's the edge there. That's the wrong... That's the wrong thing. Whoops. Okay. Now we can get rid of this. Perfect. Excellent. Well, I'm glad I built the water column. It came in handy. Even if it took a couple of tries, I'm glad that we decided to do that instead of the... Um, we're going to do the minecart method. This was much better. in there he's zombified in there so we'll have to figure out a way to store backup Steve I'll probably use uh, one of the silence name tags I need to get rid of some of this stuff here That's good. Uh, piston. Name tag. Nether box. Help. Okay, so now we should be able to take down a bunch of this stuff. No, uh, scaffolding, seriously? I hate scaffolding so much. So much. Why can you not jump off of this stuff? It's so, so frustrating. You have to fall off of it. Like a noob. Hey, Mr. Gun, how's it going? Glad everybody's still here. It's a long, long stream. Normal than... Longer than normal. Glad I took screenshots, because I, I don't want to wait. Kind of want to have a clean slate. 
have a good look at this, try to figure out what we can do. We should be able to finish this, uh, I guess, next week. But I've not seen any golems spawn on the other thing, on the, the mountain. So maybe we have, because I've raised it up even higher, I think it maybe cut out a lot of work that I potentially had for myself. Uh, Alistair 2, welcome in and thanks. I'm glad that you've enjoyed it. Stuff everywhere. Surprise, you took the dog for a midday walk and figured you'd be done by the time you got back. Yeah, I know. We have a marathon stream today. That's okay. Every now and again. I have the time. It's also miserable weather here. Like it's it's not even nice to think about going outside. Get the tail end of the storm that was uh, Debbie. Um, I don't know. There's supposed to be quite a lot of rain in the next couple of days, but it's not like a hurricane or anything like that, as far as I can tell. Did Debbie go up the coast, the east coast? If that's the case, then maybe. Oh, I put on my glass away. I should be replacing that green concrete with some glass. And I jumped without getting that block. I still get it? Yes. Man, there's a lot of materials in this when you think about the fact that I was using logs for most of it. So much stuff. Well, she looks different now. What's on the side next to the hill? So this originally burnt down. Uh, in memory of those whom lost the great fire of <laughs> in February of 2018, uh, which was the first year the server was up. So within the first year of building the iron farm, Matcast was here doing something and a creeper blew up. We didn't have fire tick turned off and the creeper took out the glass. The, the lava lit the thing on fire and the whole thing went up and just 
minutes. <laughs> so I can't say that I want to keep that exactly where it is, but I think the idea of having a couple of supports, like horizontal supports, could be interesting. So I'm going to leave the stumps in the ground because I'm going to use them as a, like a jumping off point for the new the new design. Leave those like that. And I think I'm tired of listening to Backup Steve, so maybe we'll put Backup Steve in here. I guess the problem is that we're going to probably have to listen to Backup Steve constantly. He might not be far enough away. What if we angle this around and go down a little bit? Oh, we may be fine. Oh, that's the outside. Okay. I can also um, mute backup Steve as well. I think what we're going to do for backup Steve is um, just leave him in a in a minecart. this way and that should be good now if I remember correctly all we have to do is rename that silence where did I put that name tag? Is it silence or silence me? Does anybody remember? Vanilla tweaks. Uh, data packs. It's either? Perfect. Adds the ability to silence moms using the names tag silence me, silence me, silence me, and all acceptable names. So silence me. I'll just do silence me. Oops. Here, buddy. Silenced. Yay. OK. 
guess I could use some powered rails. Always walk around, I guess. Do not want him to get out. I have a bucket of water. I really have not been great at picking up mobs today, have I? There we go. And you shall stay forever there. Yes, Cosmic, I am still streaming. But in a good way. So we're just coming up on 30 minutes. So I'm going to stop it at 30 minutes and we'll see where we are. In that case, hi. Yeah, I'm not going to be streaming for too much longer. Four hours is usually my limit. And we are just hitting that now. I would love to be able to fin figure out a crafter attachment here, but I think it's probably going to be best to, to wrap it up. All right, so that is 30 minutes of the iron farm. And we've got five there. So two stacks and 12. So got 128, 140. So if we double that, we're looking at 280 per hour. I think so. Or 4.5 per minute. 4.6. Cool. So it is functional, but undecorated and very ugly at the moment. Yeah, that's the difference. 
much, much higher, but I think we can probably make these two look very similar uh, because they are lined up on the same axis. And I think that's going to be something I want to maintain. Yeah. Okay, cool. The old inventory just gets full of stuff constantly. I don't think I have any, any more room in my spruce. A little bit. Extra bits everywhere. Uh, scaffolding. And we actually have a clean inventory. I am so glad that this is working. So now that we have that happening, I'm not so worried about getting more iron. We have lots here. So I think it might be a good opportunity to throw in. I mean, I guess I could always just put in a siphon chest or something down here. Because this is the filter, I want to say. Yeah, that's the filter for the iron there. And the auto dropper. So we could easily stick a chest somewhere here. And have like your uh like back it up while we're figuring out the crafter or i could just have it go into like a a garbage can or something like that still trucking with this thing no i'm dog it's done it's i mean not not done decorated but it's functioning we've got it we've got it sorted uh, it was it really wasn't that hard. It was the zombies. We we lost a zombie in the process of moving the zombie that we had and then we had to get a backup backup zombie and um, I guess actually we should probably I don't think I want to leave a door there. I feel like I should probably uh, Hmm I'm just gonna close this off Torch is going to look funny. So I guess what I'll do, it's going to be dark. I don't want anything to spawn in there. I'm going to leave a sign reminder just for myself to figure out a good subtle way to indicate that that is for backup.
Leave yourself a sign. Yeah, I just I don't want it to be that obvious. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put something maybe like a book or something in the chests or something in here. Something here that'll indicate backup Steve is that these break blocks at this location in case of emergency <laughs> break break blocks for backup Steve. Um, so I don't think we need all these ugly buttons around either. Uh, again, people that are maybe more in the know can let me know but i'm pretty sure that because the golems are spawning here we don't need to completely dismantle this mountain because i've got this box high enough that i think we're good so we can probably reshape this um, i think i'm gonna landscape it anyway so it's gonna get some changes and so i might end up getting outside the box anyway but i think it would be cool to maybe have it cut down a little bit so that you could see more of the iron farm from over here like maybe have it be just like a smaller smaller mound i like the waterfall coming off the back so maybe we'll do something a little bit more specific with that Uh, you shouldn't need to remove the mountain, but totally excited to see the landscaping. Yeah, so I, there's definitely a few things like the moss farm. Actually, the 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 guts of the moss farm sorting system kind of stick out. So I'd like to actually make this feel a little bit more complete, uh, and and have it be something that looks a little bit more intentional. Because you do kind of walk by this on your way to spawn, and so it'd be nice to kind of like maybe have a little bit that more of that exposed have the moss come down here that kind of stuff that could be kind of fun but i think that is going to be it i think it is functioning and i will worry about the um oops i will worry about the um the decoration on the next stream which is going to be wednesday as far as i know so yeah, happy that we've got this fixed. Surprised it took as long as it did. Really, uh, the zombie was the, was the problem. That was a good hour and a half, I want to say, of trying to capture that zombie again. And uh, unfortunately, just didn't have the right blocks sorted out when, when the zombie was in position and uh, did not work out in my favor. Remember, folks, if you're trying this, a piston with a trap door on the end of it is exactly what you need to push a zombie into a cauldron. So good tip. Good tip. Folks, if you want to check out more kind of content like this, check out Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. I have absolutely everything uh, on there. And it is uh, mostly a medieval town that I've been building for the last three years. But uh, we've taken a small break to fix the iron farm and get things sorted here. Uh, you can listen to things like the Spawn Chunks podcast as well as the Citadel Cafe podcasts. They are both free wherever you listen to your podcasts, or you can watch the Spawn Chunks on YouTube. Johnny and I now do video for that show, which is a lot of fun. We just had our patron hangout tonight, uh, or this morning rather. It'll be published tonight. Uh, that's what I gotta go do now. And you can, of course, follow on social media at Joel Duggan, very easy to find. That's where I post when I go live. I also do it in my Discord. And if you wanna join the Discord, you can do so on Twitch, or you can join the Patreon at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And that gets you access to the Discord as well as uh, notifications when I go live. And it is less than a cup of coffee a month. And it does a great deal to help me out. I will uh, pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let me see who's live here. Do a little refresh on my stream. We've got... You know what? We have not rated Sliced Lime in a very, very long time. Uh, let's do that. Sliced Lime obviously works at Mojang and is working on a teleporter station on a fan server. So enjoy your time with Slice Line, and I will see you folks on Wednesday. Bye for now.